Hey, and welcome to Winning Conversations. We are enjoying the Summer Miracle Series here on Winning Conversations, and this story is, again, like no other. So I want you to, to sit back and tune in for this miracle story as we get going. I'm excited for this. So We I. are excited for this. Yeah. All right. How are you doing today, Miss Hannah? So great. Okay. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. It's fantastic. Who are we here with today? We're here with Richard. <gasps> <gasps> Of Richard, course, you and I have had some fun conversations at a birthday party, and oh. we were at a birthday party, and he and I were sat next to each other. Oh, fun. You know, like, you don't know a lot of people yeah. at a birthday party, and that's me half yeah, the time. It's okay. We sat next to each other, and he, we talked for a little while, and I fell in love with Richard. I think oh. he's one of the well, uh, most you. amazing men. Thank you. I appreciate that. Your wife, that. your family, the whole, your whole thank crew you. here. So well, yeah, I'm, many. I'm excited for this because I love hearing stories about people that I know have awesome stories. Like, you know, like again, why I like being here. Cause I don't know a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know their backgrounds and this is crazy. Awesome. You know, almost my family. So, you know, a lot of people I do now. Yeah, I do now, but this is something different. Like I want to know how long have you been at heritage and JSMI? My goodness. Uh, we came in 2002. So about 20 years this year. That's amazing. How long has the church been here? Uh, about 21, 22. Okay. Like you got here just after the doors open, basically yes. you came in. That's Pretty awesome. Much. 20 years you've been here. Yes. Oh, how old your oldest son? The twins are going to be 24 oh and uh, our youngest is going to be 23 this year. That is, that's so cool. You've been here that long. And I heard they went all through the children's ministry too. I've yes. heard great things about yes. your kiddos. So yes. that's awesome. They've gone through the whole children's ministry through the youth. Um, yeah. Now they're in college. Yeah, I was going to say, what are they graduated. doing now? Well, two have graduated and I've got one still in college. Okay. So we are very blessed. God has blessed us thoroughly. Yes. We're uh, excited to hear about, about that. I think we have a miracle story. <laughs> you know? That's why you're here, sir. Yeah. Yes. They're be talk about being blessed. Well, thank you so much for having us. I'm Well, it's just you right now, but yes. Uh, and my family. Week. I Royal represent week. them. Yeah. So th I am excited about this story. Because okay. I think it's an important story. Yes. So this whole series, the summertime series is about miracles and yes. things that have happened in people's lives that yes. are significant and that, that just God came and did amazing things. Mm -hmm. And so you have a story. And so I just want to sit back and kind of let you tell that story. Okay. Well, the story I'm going to tell you is about how we are in the home that we're in now. And it came about where my wife really wanted a two-story brick home. It was her dream to have one. And she kept pushing me for it and pushing me. And I kept pushing her back, telling her, we're not ready, we're not ready, because we've got a lot of work to do in the home that we were in. And the home we were in was a three-bedroom, two-bath, two-car garage, uh, 1,190 square feet. It's what you call a shotgun house. Mm -hmm. You know, the one where you, you, you walk into the front of the house and you can hear who's in the shower. <laughs> so it, it was a small home, but it was a very happy home. Uh, our start of home were the only people that had lived in it. And uh, she kept telling me that she'd like to be in the, a better home, a bigger home. And she had a dream and a vision for the new home. Um, I kind of told her when we take care of all the th things that we need to do, uh, needed a lot of repair, uh, do the floors, paint, put a new roof on it. You know, there was a lot of stuff that needed to be done. And that was what I kept pushing back on her. And then I traveled to Africa to visit my uh, family in Africa. And she went ahead and just stepped out on faith and did a bold thing and put the house on the market. And she, she yeah. oh, wow, wait, while you're in Africa, yes. she decides, yes. you know what? I'm going to put her house up yes. for sale and list it. Was yes. she like in the meantime, painting the walls and doing the floors and all uh, the you'd things? You'd think, right? <laughs> No, not, like not how, like, quite. You know what I'm saying? I like how we can, we can remember things differently. You yes. know what I mean? Like the Lord remembers, <laughs> yes. you know, Sarah's Absolutely. laughing as, as faith. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So she put on a website called Make Me Move. Make Me Move. Wow. Yes. And what, what this website is, kind of is, dancing website. is basically somebody gets on there and they make you an offer for your home after you've listed, put pictures and stuff and put mm -hmm. square footage based on the current market and find out, okay, how much it's, they can offer you. Mm -hmm. And apparently she had listed it pretty low. So she was getting inundated with a lot of offers. So she called me and told me about it like it's a happy thing. <laughs> and I was like, you? no. <laughs> so I told her to get in touch with our realtor. Are who's... you still in Africa having this conversation? I'm in Africa having this conversation. <laughs> I with her. love, I'm even so more technology happy about your wife helped. right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it, it's it's very important for for a husband and spouse street. to be on the same page. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or for me to get on her page because her and the Holy Spirit are pretty much one where I'm concerned. Yeah. Um. So I told her no. Please contact our realtor, who is Chef Gonzalez, and please shout out. Yes, and please, because uh, they used to do the healing school here at HFCC, mm-hmm. and so they're grounded people, faith people, they'll, they're believers, and we trust in their process. Mm-hmm. Um, so we went that route, and she reached out to them, and uh, Seth told her, hey, you've actually priced it pretty low, so let's do this. Let's take it off the market. And by that time, now I had come home, and within two weeks, we had done all the repairs that we needed to do. The whole family came together. Wow. Uh, we've got an amazing church family here at HFCC. Um, when you're willing to stand out, on faith, God will move on your behalf, and He uses people to move on your behalf. Yes. So Kenny Cable Aww. has a roofing company, so we got in touch with him. He came and put a new roof on our on our house. He, he didn't want to take an extra dime; he wanted wow. to help us. So, and then uh, my brother-in-law Levy, he works for Sherwin Williams, and he managed to get uh, paint for us. At the, you know, on he actually took care of everything. He took wow. care of the paint. Wow. And then I've got another brother-in-law who works for Home Depot, Jeremiah. And wow. he helped me with the floorings, the baseboards, and getting all that done. And we did, we did fencing. We, we did everything. So we got the house done uh, in a matter of two weeks. What? Uh, she, yeah. And then Seth Gonzalez listed the house. Within an hour, we had six people interested. Wow, that's incredible. Within two hours, two people had already come to see the house. The second person that came to see the house actually offered us 10 more than we were asking what? Uh, and okay. waived inspection, had their own financing, were ready to go, and we set a date for the 28th of June. What year is this? 2016. So this is not like in the crazy spike bubble. No. This was this just is normal, normal, like normal, normal real everything. Estate. Yeah, the bubble had not happened. People were not crazy. Yeah. Things were not, <laughs> you know moving as quickly as you'd expect them to move. You yeah. know, the average days on the market was about 40, 45, two hours. The wow. house was, was sold. Um, so we set for a moving date. Now we had money, but we were, in, so to speak, homeless. Yeah. So Lindsay went out, Lindsay went out the business of so finding us a house now. Yes. So the first week went by, the second week went by, nothing's happened. So she found a home that she actually did like, that was not too far from where we currently live now, actually. Um, but there was some things that I didn't like about that house. Like the backyard sloped into the street where you could see all the way through the house from outside the backyard. And I didn't like that. The house was a bit, um, the yard was small, was in the middle of the street. Um, so, but I was like, okay. And she called me, she asked me, I was at, I was at the office and she asked me, what do we do? What do we do? And I said, babe, just make an offer. Just tell Seth to put in an offer. You like the house? Put in an offer. She said, okay, that's what we'll do. I said, okay. And we had prayed. But even before we did any of this, we actually put money together. And we didn't have a lot. Um, so there's no harvest without a seed sown. So that's what right. we did. So the first thing we did was we sowed seed towards towards our new home when we decided night's time before we started the renovations and everything. So that's the first thing that we did. Praise and God. I was very blessed to be in the company of Brother Jay and Miss Carolyn and actually put it in their hands and that they prayed over it immediately Aww. and attached their faith to our faith. And then we started from there. That's awesome. But then that evening when she had asked Seth now to put the offer in, she doesn't know from where, I don't know from where, but a property got sent to her in her email. Oh, wow. And she opened it up and she looked at it and she said, this is the exact floor plan that I looked at apart from a lot of changes. And I asked, what do you mean a lot of changes? She said, well, the one I looked at was a four bedroom. This is a five bedroom. The one I looked at is in the middle of the street. This one's on a corner lot. The one I looked at, the patio is not done. The previous owners had built out a 15 by 40 deck and covered it with a metal roof and had brick columns matching the house. So they had gone through all this work. They had put fans, lighted fans outside. I mean, they had gone the extra. Then the house was on a double lot. 
Mm. So it was not on just on a single lot. And it was a five bedroom. This one had a fireplace. The other one didn't have a wood burning fireplace. So all the extras. So all the extras. Yes. Um, they had a pool table upstairs. The owner didn't want to move it. And then come to find out the owner was in the praise and worship at a different church. So they were praying people. Oh. They actually had twin daughters. Uh, we had twin sons. So you can see the resemblance yeah. of how God is putting things together. But the miracle continues because they agreed to move out, get an apartment, and we closed in 11 days. Wow. So that's you just, really weren't homeless that long. So 11 yeah, days. Yeah. Like, that's great. That's so, so it's a lot of things that, fast you know. fast moving. And they, they, moved in, they moved out and we moved in. We sold. We went and closed and sold on the 28th. And moved in on the 29th. Wow. So that one night we spent at my sister's house, Millie. And she Aww. was going out of town, so she gave us her house. And then come, just so that you get the whole picture, we now, all four of us live within 100 yards of each other. So it's kind of like family oh, I together. Oh, I like a little it's, community. It's so crazy when you're doing what, like, in like in God's will. Yes. What what mountains he moves for you. Yes. Things like 11 days. Yes. Is, is against any mathematical, you know what I mean? Like the market doesn't move that fast. No. Banks don't move that fast. No. Nothing moves that fast for homes. No. Like we were just like 30 days is mm-hmm. like normally the standard. And for Texas, that's a standard is 30 days. Yes. And you're yes. like, yeah, I'll see your 30 days and I'll show you 11. <laughs> you know, that's how the Lord works. And it all stemmed from a desire that God had put in my wife. See, you got to so. make sure you're not unevenly yoked, people, right? <laughs> yeah. See what lesson learned there. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. It is. And so you've been there ever since now. Yes, we've been there. That's, and ever so you're since. a double lot, you sell the pool table? Yes, pool I table's sh- still I mean, upstairs. One day you you I'll come and play out. if you, <laughs> you know want. I mean? Yes. And even that was, we had a pool table at the other house that we sold into another family. So God was just giving us back. That's and so, more and increasing yes. us. What Dr. Chabelle does what with playing is you do with pool tables. So it's a different ministry, but I get it. I <laughs> yes. Get it. Yes. I like it. Though. But I'm in the planes now. <laughs> so watch out. Moving up. All right. <laughs> so what's a great story. Yeah. What would be some of your encouragement to other people who are believing for homes or trying to sell a property? What would you say to them? God's timing. Don't wait for everything to line up. The stars don't have to line up. God's will will line everything up for you. Step out on faith, but just... Do what you know to do and let God be God, yeah. you know. But there's no harvest without a seed sown, so start there. So you sow a seed. God knows what you have. Yes. So trust him. He does multiplication. We do math of adding. God ma- multiplies. That's right. Mm-hmm. So just trust and then be in accord with your wife in, and know that you put God between you to pull you together that you are on one vision. Yes. And with that, you can accomplish anything. So during this process, because it mm-hmm. was a really fast process, yes. what, what was your faith journey like during it? What were you standing on or thinking about or what was that like? Because, I mean, it was really fast. It, 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 it's, it's a lot. You get inundated with a lot. Um, first of all, where do you start was the first thing. What do we fix first? Because we want to get the house on the market. What do we fix first? So that's where we have... God faith realtors who are leading us in a way where we don't spend too much in renovations and stuff like that. Stuff that's going to bring you a return on your investment. Mm-hmm. Um, then we involved our insurance company to get the roof done. Uh, we didn't know to do that, but we had church family that knew to do that. And they guided us. So getting the right people in your corner that we are for you. Yes. Um, and Quality then f- counsel. And then from there... Using what's within your reach, you know. Uh, Dave Ramsey says, if you want to make a bouquet of flowers, get from the garden that you can touch. Mm -hmm. So I have family that are in, you know, paint, home renos and stuff like that. So God put them there and we they were a blessing to us. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. And so many, but right now with the market being as, you know, Mm -hmm. weird as it is in Texas. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, like your story is such a, that's an amazing story. And you're still there. Yeah. Like it's still the dream home that, the you know, yeah. the email sent, the magic email that sent to your wife. Yes. <laughs> Until today, that she one. has no idea where it came from. I told her it's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. There's no like, other answer, you know. Send. 
Yes. That's right. Yeah. I know you want this whole floor plan, but I have a better version of it for you. Yes. <laughs> yes. So much more. So oh, much more. Gosh. Where did your, do you, would you say that your faith grew or increased in any way or any capacity with this different faith project, like believing for a home? Well, I'll put it to you this way. It's one thing when you know God loves you. It's another thing when God shows you. Oh, that's so beautiful. So, yes, that is so good. Oh, I love so, that. Yeah. Yep. You've been shown a lot, bro. Yes, I have. I mean. We can do a lot of podcasts. You have so many amazing. <laughs> but I, I love when someone who's, who, when you see people walking it out and then living it. Yes. And like their life is a testimony of his goodness. Yes. Not of their strife, not of their labor, but of his goodness. Yes. And your family is such a, an amazing example of that. Yeah. And this they house are. is just one of those amazing stories in the litany of stories that you have of, yes. of, of a wonderful Holy Spirit encounters where he's just met you right where you're at. But trust God first, mm -hmm. but don't discount somebody's vision just because you might not be able to see it. My just, wife's hear just, this and... just trust Aww. that. Just trust that there's a reason God puts a dream in you. Yes. It's because he's speaking to you. It's because mm -hmm. he's wanting to get something to you. And sometimes it's not even for you. Sometimes it's through you. Like my kids are the ones who enjoy the home more than I do, actually. Um, what I didn't tell you is that the previous owners put a movie projector screen uh, in one of the rooms and turned it into a movie theater that they left, left the projector for us. They left the screen for us. So, you know, it's a place for family to gather and just share memories. And now our nieces and nephews come over because we just live 100 yards from each other. And it's a place where they share. They actually spend more time on the pool table than I do. That's awesome. So it's a place where God's favor will bring people together so you can share his goodness. Amen. That's so good. Our motto here at Heritage of Faith is making winners in life. Yes. So what does that mean to you? Well, this is what it means to me. Do not discount humble beginnings. Don't see where you are as where you're going to be, that that's it. God's moving in you. God's moving behind the scenes. Just know that if you trust the process, rule number one of the Bible, you have not because you ask not. Rule number two, know who to ask. So we ask God. We don't seek a man to fulfill for us. That's we right. ask God. God will move through men. He says, I'll cause people to give unto your bosom. So don't wait for, don't look for the miracle to happen through a specific way. God can make a miracle happen anyway. Amen. So once you take God out of the box, then everything and anything is yes, possible. Yes, out of the box. That's so, right. And then you find yourself winning, but you win so that you can be a blessing to others. But also because we have a covenant with him. Mm -hmm. And God blesses us so that he can separate us from the world. Because who wants to be a Christian if all you do is suffer? So we have to win so that we can be, so to speak, God's attraction to the world. Yes. Mm. That's so good. Well, this was awesome. This was yes. so fun. Our Summer Miracle Series. We Amen. are so happy that you are here with us. Thank you so much, Richard. Honored to be here. Thanks again for joining us. We are enjoying these stories so much. We hope that you are too. If you have a testimony like the one you just heard of God doing something incredible in your life, we want you to use our testimony page and let us know about it so we can celebrate with you. I'll link it in the show notes below. And we hope you tune in for one more week of Winning Conversations and our Summer Miracle Series.